Somalia won its independence in 1960 and seems to be that kind of nation that always is at war. There was the heated issue of Ogaden, an ethnic Somali region, a part of Ethiopia which the Somalis wished to annex. Ultimately, it was in 1969 where the president was overthrown in a coup and Mohamed Sidbar took power. He turned Somalia into a Marxist-Leninist republic, aligning it with the Soviet Union. Communist Somalia would fight Communist Ethiopia in the Ogaden War. There is a lot of stuff that led to this war, but it was ultimately Saeed Barr's dictatorship that led to the war. Barr would crush anyone who opposed him, and this led his opponents to create the Somali Salvation Democratic Front to oppose him. This ultimately started the four decade long civil war, the longest civil war in modern history. The Democrats got support from Ethiopia, of course, in the war. Now the democratic and national movements struck mainly in the north, known as Somaliland. For most of the 80s, action was pretty much in the Somaliland. Until 1989, the Democrats split Somalia in half, but that's not the important part. A rebel group called the Somali Democratic Movement began to rise up, and along with other rebels. In 1991, the Somali Democratic Republic collapsed and Barr was overthrown and exiled. The North declared its independence as Somaliland, however, barely any countries recognize it today. The United Somali Congress took over and the Civil War took a turn to a whole new agenda. Somalia was now occupied by the Islamic extremists and the UN would not allow them to hold the country independently. So the UN would fight the Congress until 2000, when it collapsed. Fighting started back up in 2006, when the Islamic Courts Union takes power in Somalia, and once again, Islamic terrorism. They were opposed by the ARPCT, and they were supported by the United States at the now democratic Ethiopia. Ultimately, with the help of the United States, the court was overthrown and a transitional government was established. But this angered the radical Islamists, and they rise up under the Al-Shabaab, and other Islamic terrorist groups begin to rise. The transitional government mainly got support from Ethiopia, but also from the United States, France, and the United Kingdom. In 2009, a federal government was finally established in Somalia starting, hopefully, the final phase of the Civil War. Al-Shabaab wouldn't surrender and continued to fight the government. The government got support from Turkey, Italy, the United States, and the United Kingdom. In 2015, ISIS entered the conflict on the side of Al-Shabaab. There seems to be no end in sight for the Somali Civil War. Most countries, especially the UN, were involved in the Civil War, and the Somali Civil War continues today, entering its 31st year.